Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I do this 50s, also 90s inspired bombshell look. This is more of my, I don't wanna say every day, but it's toned down enough that I don't feel totally weird going to the grocery store. I know it's not very technical, I am not a professional makeup artist, but I've been doing makeup a really long time for shoots for myself, so here we go. <laughs> okay, so for my base for every day, I don't use a primer. I guess right now I'm going to, just because my pores look so huge on film. You wanna make sure your skin is like super primed in that it's moisturized. Otherwise you're gonna have some crusty ass skin. I use a pore filler cause I have really big pores. So the first thing I put on my face besides the primer is I use a CC cream for foundation on a daily basis just because it's so much better for your skin. There's hyaluronic acid in it, there's SPF in it, anti-aging, hydrating serum, color correcting, full coverage cream. So it's a little bit different than a BB cream. I think BBs are like tinted moisturizers almost and CC creams are more like foundation. I like that full coverage look. This is actually a little too dark for my face, but I'll bring it down to my neck. I'm just so pale and pink. I don't really have the best skin. I'm working on it though. The micro needling thing, life changing. Like, holy shit. It's this HD business that makes me feel so much older. Like who thought that was a good idea? Not a woman or anybody who cared about their looks or self-esteem. <laughs> Okay, the more you press it in, the more natural it's gonna look. So it doesn't just lay on top of your skin, you want it to soak into your skin a bit. I mean, I guess that's what primer's for, but some YouTuber guy was like, you press it in for like six minutes at least. So oh, much. The reason why I'm using a CC cream too is because I feel like regular foundation makes you look really crazy and cakey. Like it's hard to get it looking natural and I already look super unnatural <laughs> so i don't want to walk around with like super cakey makeup okay so once i so once i pressed my foundation into my skin i'm gonna do my under eyes with my concealer i use mac i don't know what color it is it's just light use lighter than your foundation that's all i know i just go in the corner of my eye i don't go like in the middle here i got some good advice to not go too much right here that it actually lifts your eye more if you go into the corner i just got really close to my eyeball and then i do a little in the corners of my nose a little there lift my eye a bit a little on my chin a little on my center of my forehead. I'm like, I don't like cakey makeup. Okay, so now I'm gonna press this into my face for a while. You wanna put concealer on the places you wanna cover up, like zits, dark spots, just places you wanna highlight too. Just keep pressing, just keep pressing. Like what's his name or her name? What was her name? Dolly, just keep swimming, just keep pressing. Just keep pressing, just keep pressing. Does that look all right? Do I look highlighted in the right spot? Cause I find out you didn't tell me. I'm gonna be mad at you. Okay, honestly I could press it in longer. Okay, I think that's good. The way you don't get creases too is by pressing the powder in for a really long time. So you wanna do a translucent powder, put it on your wet sponge beauty blender. So I should have said this before, but you're supposed to wet the beauty blender. Take your damp beauty blender, put it in your translucent powder. You wanna roll it onto the skin. You roll it for a really long time. It really does help with the creasing and it keeps your makeup from smudging. You can like keep it on all day and not have to touch it up. I say roll, but I have a hard time rolling. I don't know why. All I wanna do is press. Just keep pressing. I'm like roll pressing. I don't do the baking thing. I don't really understand it. I guess it fills in your pores. I really just care about the makeup staying and not creasing. 
Okay, so once it's pressed into my skin, then I'm gonna do my contouring. I like to do it underneath my cheekbone, like right here, and I bring it in pretty far because of the roundness of my face. See, I feel like that really thins out my face. I should probably explain what I'm doing. I do a little highlight on my forehead, and then you do like a little like right here. I don't really need to do much over here because nobody ever really sees this side of my face. Everybody has their good side, you know? And my right is just not my good side. I'll put a little of the powder under here to kind of darken it. And then along my jawline. I don't get too crazy with it. And then I move to my eyebrows. I don't know why I don't do blush first. I just don't. Okay, so I brush my eyebrow up. For my eyebrows, I use a Sephora Crayon Sorcels Definition. Brow Shaper Pencil Waterproof. I don't know about the waterproof business. Maybe it is. This one I like because it glides on so easily. A lot of them you have to like dig to get them to fill in your eyebrow. This one's pretty good. And it was cheap too. I think it was like 11 bucks or something. Luckily, I already have like a natural arch. Near your nose, you don't want to go too dark. I kind of fan it out a little bit, like do it a little bit lighter right here and then darken it. I like to look down too to see what the eyebrow looks like from the top because sometimes you can't see where it's filled in if you just look at it straight on and then you look down and it looks like you have a missing piece of eyebrow. I've definitely noticed that in photo shoots pretty good. It's hard to get them evenly. I heard you want them to be sisters. They don't have to be twins. Lightly brush. They're definitely sisters. Definitely not twins. Maybe one's an evil twin. Your eyebrows really do frame your face, so it is important to have really nice structured eyebrows. Okay, now I'm moving on to my eyes. So I've been doing a bronzy, shimmery eye over the whole eyelid and then some underneath on my bottom lash line. It really makes my eyes pop out too. I have like blue-green eyes and I just, I don't know, I like the way it looks. So I'm gonna prime. You don't want to put too much, otherwise it gets really clumpy and creasy. I take my shadow, you dust it off. I have kind of like, I don't know what it is. It's a cheap one, but it's fluffy, so it blends well. And since I'm going over my whole eyelid, I kind of leave a little bit of room at the top just to give a little highlight. Blend a little here. I'm doing this style where it's all over my eyelid kind of opens them up more so you want to go out of the eye like beyond the lid a bit too also makes your eyes look bigger blend a little and then i do some on the bottom lower lash too I extend it a little bit. This is more if I'm just like out and about. If I'm doing a shoot, I do a little more definition on the top, make it a little bit more smoky. So I'll just use like the darker bronzy brown. I just go close to the eyebrow, kind of just try to define it out a little bit. See how that makes my eye look a little smaller. I'm gonna go back and blend it a little bit more. Voila. Now I'm gonna do the liner. I'll do like a little bit of a wispy out the side to kind of elongate my eye a little bit, but I'm not gonna do like a big ass swoop wing thing. I try to get it as close to the lash line as possible. You just wanna get it really thin. The thinner it is, the bigger your eye's gonna look. It makes it pop out so much when it's just like a thin line along the lash line. And then a little swoop at the end. I'm having a hard time figuring out what eyeliner to use because I feel like with my makeup for some reason it just gets too much on the brush and it like dries out and then it's hard for me to get it on there. And then I've also been doing a liner on the bottom, like on the lash line. And I feel like that's kind of been giving me that like supermodel look where it's super close to the eyeball. I don't know how to describe it. I've just seen it in pictures and thought it's gorgeous. Okay, if I mess up, I just take a Q-tip and then get to the spot and just try to rub it away. If that doesn't work, then I'll put a little bit of my CC cream and dip it into there. Much better. Okay, moving on. 
I think you do this so you get a lot of product on it. I get as close to the lash line as possible. This is Dior mascara. I love their mascara. I think it's one of the best. It's pricey, but they last a long time. Isn't it funny how everybody like opens their mouth when they do their mascara? I wonder why. I wonder if it's because it like elongates your face. I don't know. Let's try it. Yeah, it's just hard to do it with your mouth closed. Try to get in the corners. Don't forget the bottom lash. Oh yeah, and you have to do this when you do the bottom lash. The bottom lash is always the funniest base. All right, moving on to lashes. This is the duo, you can find it anywhere. I like the ones that have the brushes on the end. You have a lot more control of how much glue you put on there. You don't wanna do it too thick and you don't wanna do it too thin. You wanna get it so there's enough on there. Okay, so there's one. <sighs> So you want to dry it. I mean, you want to get to the point where it's tacky. Otherwise, it's just going to slide around on your eye. I got some good advice that if you're ever doing anybody else's makeup, please don't blow on it. Like, let it dry, just air dry. Because you're just putting your spit on someone else's eyelid. Also got some good advice. You want to tilt your head back and look down and put it the center in the center. These are already cut to the shape of my eye. One down. I like to press them up a little bit too because I squint my eyes like crazy. So it's good to have them lifted up. Lift. I'm gonna make sure the corners are pressed down. Lashes are hard, man. Okay, boom. I do lips last again i like to do the 90s bombshell look so i'm going to do a brown pencil on the lip line and then like more of a pinky nude tone on the inside admission like my lips are so crooked they're way off so yeah i have to work a little harder it's nice to have a little um, powder on your lips before you start. It kind of fills in the fist space and it keeps your lipstick on longer. I do the liner outside, not too crazy. I just go a little bit outside of the lip line. Kind of where the shadow is cast by your lip. I draw the line. I know my lips are chapped. I don't know why. I drink water, you guys. I usually put chapstick on my lips before I get started too, just because by the time I get to my lips, it's already sucked up and dry. I don't know what's up. So this side of my mouth is up higher than this side. So I draw the liner a little bit lower on this side. You don't really wanna go like this because it just comes out crooked and weird. You kinda of wanna do it like the way your lips are naturally. So going with kind of the natural shape. I like it a little more rounded, but again, just like right above the lip line, so it doesn't look too fake. Not that I don't like the fake look, I do, just not on me during grocery store runs. Okay, so I do that on the outside. Oh yeah, and sometimes I'll do like a little bit in the corner. It just makes it look bigger. I guess because it makes the center of your lip look more pouty. Sometimes I'll do a little line right here. I love that Angelina Jolie thing. You know how she's got that line in the middle. Okay, and then I take my pinky nude god i use a lot of nyx you know what it's cheap and it works and i go through a lot of makeup so i guess lips are like small eyes you kind of just gotta work with what you got makeup does wonders doesn't it try not to cover up too much of the lip liner but i do like to blend it a little bit sometimes i'll do a little bit of a nude this one is lime crime I have a couple of their lip stuff. I like their lip stuff. Just do a little bit in the center. Try to blend it a little bit. This is actually an eye pencil. And I like the eye pencils for their lips for NYX. I don't know if it's NYX or NYX. I think it's NYX. This is Jade. And then Zurich. I go through that a lot. I guess I don't do lips last. I do blush last. I guess just because I want to see also where I'm at if I even want to do blush. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just want a cute contour. This is MAC Dainty. That's cute. 
So just a little bit. I know some people like put it right here. I like it more on the side. I'm a big fan of blush. I think it makes you look so cute. It's just adorable. <gasps> okay, my oily face needs a little bit more powder to kind of suck up all the oil. Basically my T-zone is what gets really oily. I think that's for most people too. Corner, corner, get that T-zone. Oh. And then last and final step. This is Kat Von D's Locket. Locked. Okay, yay! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, do that thing. Don't be mean. <laughs> bye, say bye, Sunny. Bye. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,